the Play Mornings with Steph and John replay. Good morning, world. It's March 4th, 2024. You in a bad mood today, John? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm f- fuming. Fuming and furious all at once. Yeah. What happened? What do you mean what happened? <laughs> Take a look outside, Steph. It is crazy to look out at the um, street lamp and to think that maybe it was just blowing snow, but it is not. It is just coming down out there. It's a downpour to the point where it took me maybe 90 minutes to get to work today. 90 minutes? Don't you live eight minutes away? <laughs> That's correct. Sorry to state the obvious here, but what were you up to? Well, I woke up early. I woke up at about 2.20 because I was like, oh, it's going to snow a lot. Wow. I I had a feeling it was going to snow. So I woke up. I went to go start my car, pre-start it, and it wouldn't turn on. I appreciate your gumption of saying, I'm going to be on time for work no matter what, 2.20 in the morning. Yeah. So it didn't start. So then what did you do? And then I went back inside. 10 minutes later, went back out. Didn't start. And then I kept doing this every 10 minutes until it finally started at about 3.05. You're lucky you didn't flood that thing. Okay. Yeah, flood. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I haven't heard thing. that term since I was driving four-wheelers. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, I tried to get out of my parking spot, and I shoveled all the snow away, but my tires would still not gain traction. So it wow. took about... Maybe 15 more minutes rocking back and forth <laughs> till I finally got out and the plows hadn't gotten to my place yet because I, I left at literally 3.30. Right. Okay. So you then, how did you get down the road? Like, were you just gunning it or? Yes. 1,000% I was gunning it. John, I appreciate your um, tenacity, your dependability. Thank you so much for coming to work today. You're welcome. I also had a harrowing drive to work, but yours sounds worse. At least <laughs> yours, you sound angry about yours than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you play video games, John? All the time. It's all I do. The second I'm done at this job, I'm going home to play some Fortnite. Are you being real? 100%. Oh I am addicted to gosh. video games. gosh. I had no idea. Okay, well then. <laughs> Honestly, this is such a surprise. Um, are you going to be a customer of this then? It's called Game Scent. Oh, I think I've heard about this a little bit. So it's like you get cartridges, kind of like air fresheners, but it puts you in the game. Kinda, yeah. Trying to break that fourth wall again, where like yeah. suddenly you're going to smell everything of the atmosphere of where you are in the game. Yeah. Does this sound good to you? It uh, I don't. I don't think I play the right games in order to have this. Like I play Call of Duty. I play GTA. I play Fortnite. Like, okay, wait. Let's talk about what these games are. So I'm not immersed in video games. So Call of Duty. That's guns, right? Yeah. And guns, you're, blood. Yeah, that wouldn't smell very good. Right. And then GTA. Grand Theft Auto. It sounds like uh, Greater Toronto Area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is cars, burning rubber, and drugs. Is and that right? Also killing people. Wow, yeah, no, not great sense. Um, <laughs> and, and then the, Fortnite is also killing people. I thought Fortnite was dancing. <laughs> no, wait, it's why? It's not. It's like wait. the floss and things like that. Didn't that come from Fortnite? <laughs> that came from... <laughs> Maybe I'm not... I feel like you can't go a week without talking about AI. Oh, no, it's just taking over the world, it seems. There's another product coming out over and over and over again. Well, there's a new product coming oh, out. Oh, what do we got today? Adobe is testing a new AI tool that can create music from text prompts. Did we need this? Well, I we, we might not have needed it, but we're getting it used. Users can edit the AI-generated music clips with text as well as increasing intensity or extending the length of the clip. But I want to be a little, little, little more excited about this because, again, we've only been just crapping all over AI. Like, AI is going to ruin our life. So I want to play a little game with you. Okay. Okay. So currently, the title for this AI project is Project Music Gen AI Control. That's the name. Oh, dear. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Like, it's terrible. It's too long as well. Like, what are we going to shorten it to? Right. AI control, project music, music AI. Like, I don't know. Right. So I've come up with a few few ones I want to run by you. And if you have any in your brain, yeah. Okay, let's see what I can come up with real quick here. Go ahead. All right. My first one was music kale. Musical, but in front uh, or behind the A is AI. Music kale. Like, musical Ale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I honestly thought you were saying kale like the um, <laughs> the food. <laughs> okay. How about counterfeit artists? 
I like that one, but obviously they'll never call it that. But why not? It is counterfeit. Like, I just feel like this AI thing is coming in and saying, here, I can make music as well. And it's like, yeah, but people have worked their entire lives and put the time in to learn how to do an instrument. Are we, is nothing safe anymore? They are counterfeit musicians. Counterfeit AI. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Counterfeit artists was my idea. (laughs) That's so funny. My next one is Sound Scripter. Sound scripter. That's not bad. Right? Thank that you. That is actually really good. I actually really like that one. Thank you. Uh, alter AI Maestro. So okay, like instead like of Alter Ego, it's Alter AI, and then Maestro is like the AI yeah. is the, the musician. Okay. Uh, my last, my favorite one by, by far is audio, but only the A and the I are capitalized. Audio. So it, it would have to start with an A and then, yep. okay. Okay. That's... That's not bad because we have Adobe has Audition, it yeah. has Premiere, it has all those one words. That's yeah, pretty good. We just have to get rid of Adobe Illustrate. Why? Because AI. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> We heard a dry January where you get sober, you don't drink in January. Yes, yep. Well, there was kind of a sober thing going on in February. Really? Called Boy Sober. Boy Sober. Boy Sober. You heard of it? I've never heard of it. Well, then I think it's time for you and I to do (laughs) some... Level up your lexicon. Steph, what do you think Boy Sober is? Uh, I feel like you just gave me a hint, but I was going to say I think it's the period between when you turn legal age to drink and then when you finally actually do drink. So, like, you're 18, but you didn't get to go out on your birthday, and you have to wait two weeks because you have COVID or something, and then all of a sudden you do get to go out. So you're Boy Sober in between then and there. Okay. No, that's not right. Not at all. (laughs) This one's for all you girly pops out there. Are you ready? Okay. Boy Sober is about keeping your 20s untainted by toxic dating habits and (gasps) roundabout relationships. Oh, okay. So you're like, I'm in my 20s and I am not dating any fools. No, you're dating to get married or you're not dating at all. Wow. Okay. So you're boy sober. Yeah. I like it. I I like like it it too. My cross-country skiing buddy usually leaves his skis leaning against his house. He lives right by the entrance to the Birchwood Trails, so he's always just throwing his skis on and getting going. Yeah, ready to go. Uh Uh-huh. Not this year, however. Yeah. It's been a pretty lack of snow experience. And uh, the other day he said to me, I put my skis away for the winter. They just made me sad every time I walked past them and couldn't throw them on. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. And I was like, oh, man, I hope you don't jinx us. And then on Saturday... I had to take a trip to the dump and my skis have been living in the back of my truck since the beginning of winter. And I was like, you know what? I should just give up as well. Yeah. If he's going to put his skis away, I guess I'll put mine away too. And I took them out and I carried them to the shed and I put them in their spot, never to be seen or heard from again until next November. Yep. And then today. Yep. (laughs) Do you think it's our fault? I think it's 1000% your fault. I don't (laughs) think it could be anybody else's fault more than your guys' fault. It was my birthday last week, and my best friend graciously bought me an entire ice cream cake. Wow. That was very kind. Right? What kind was it? Like, really make our mouths water here. It was an Oreo ice cream cream sheet cake. Sheet cake? It's one of, like, the big ones. Okay. Yeah, like a square one. It's not like the tiny little circle one. You are blessed and highly favored to have a friend like that. Right? Absolutely. The only problem is I have something called um, a terrible portion control. Is that a is that a syndrome you have? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Growing up, I've always I've always had terrible portion control, and boy, did I crush this cake! Two days, I crushed it in two days. Your birthday was last Thursday. Yeah, it's gone. The cake is completely a gone. A sheet cake, an extra large cake. Yeah, full of ice cream. Gone. Wow. Eaten. Did you did you cut it? Did you eat it just like one hey. forkful at a time, or did you slice it up? I'm the only one living in my house. There was just one fork going into that ice cream cake. This is such a bad plan. It was ice cream cake. You should cut things like a piece at a time so that it doesn't melt on you. Or you just were like, I better eat this before it melts. I don't regret it one bit. Not one bit do I regret <laughs> shoving all of that chocolatey goodness into my gullet. Wow. I'm, I'm just not sure I understand the marketplace completely anymore. 
marketplace as in Facebook? Facebook marketplace. Okay. I've been looking for a bike. You know I've been looking for a bike. I've been reaching out to people about, hey, can I check out this bike? I'll buy this bike. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody's gotten back to me. And we've spoken. We're like, oh, maybe it's because like, you don't have anything on your account or whatever. And it's like, that may be true. So I posted one thing so far. It hasn't helped yet. <laughs> but I don't want to continuously post because then I feel like if I post too much at one time, it'll look even more bodier than if I just have no post. Yeah, that's very true. Like, you don't want to get too, too crazy here. You want to look like you've been around for a while. Right? Okay, so now you, how many messages have you sent? Probably a total of 15 different messages to different bikes. And nobody wants to sell a bike to you. Zero. They're not even looking at the message. Okay, I wonder if you are unknowingly shadow banned or something. Like maybe Facebook is like, this guy is untrustworthy. I'm not even going to show you the message to the bike sellers. That's a thing? I I don't know. I'm making it up, but it sounds like a thing. It sounds like somebody's not telling your people that you're sending messages. If that's the case, that's super annoying because I want a bike so bad. Somebody anywhere, <laughs> please sell me your bike. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the Stefan John Replay. Find more Stefan John at play1037.ca.